But let's be real here, folks. We're talking about Iron Mike Tyson, the heavyweight titan who once struck fear into the hearts of men with just a glance from beneath those ominous black trunks. This is a man whose fists were forged in the crucible of championship battles, whose knockout power could shatter bones and spirits alike. And then, on the other side of the ring, we have Jake Paul, a YouTube sensation turned pugilistic provocateur whose claim to fame rests on victories over fellow internet personalities and boxing novices. The contrast couldn't be starker. Tyson, a living legend nearing the twilight of his career, versus Paul, a brash upstart with a penchant for theatrics. The age gap alone is enough to raise eyebrows and concerns with Tyson approaching his 50s while Paul basks in the glow of youth. But it's not just age that sets these two apart. It's the gapping chasm of experience that separates a true warrior from a mere pretender to the throne. While Paul may have amassed a tidy record against opponents of dubious pedigree, Tyson's resume reads like a roll call of boxing royalty. He's danced with the likes of Holyfield, Lewis, and Spinks, leaving a trail of devastation in his wake. And let's not forget the intangibles, the ring IQ, the killer instinct, the sheer force of nature that is Mike Tyson in his prime. But what other sporting legends said about this upcoming fight? Thoughts on this uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight? Oh geez, I thought it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest, I've not, I, the interest is a low one, I don't know. I don't really, it, it, I don't understand it. Got so, it, got it. Any difference between this I one and... Well for, I wish well for Mike. McGregor, never one to shy away from a microphone, reportedly blasted Paul as absolute trash during an interview. He scoffed at the entire concept, saying something along the lines of, that YouTuber wouldn't last two minutes in the ring with a rusty nail, let alone Iron Mike. McGregor likely saw it as a disrespectful mismatch, and a mockery of the sport he dedicated his life to. Many, including McGregor, believed Mike Tyson would demolish Jake Paul. Tyson's prime was legendary, a time of unmatched power and experience. Even a past-his-peak Iron Mike would probably carry too much firepower for the young Paul. McGregor himself might have been chomping at the bit for a chance to challenge Tyson. A fight between two legends with knockout power would have been a guaranteed spectacle. The whole situation left a sour taste for some, including McGregor. They felt it prioritized celebrity hype over genuine competition. McGregor, known for his own brand of showmanship, probably would have preferred a fight with a more legitimate opponent, someone who had earned their place in the ring through hard work and dedication, not social media clout. What do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? That fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh, they're going to fight that. Yeah, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, the Filipino boxing icon and eight-division world champion. When asked about his thoughts on the rumored clash, Pacquiao didn't mince words. With a characteristic blend of humility and insight, he offered his prediction echoing the sentiments of many in the boxing world. Manny Pacquiao weighed in on the Tyson-Paul chatter, asserting, Mike Tyson will win against Jake Paul, declared the boxing maestro, his words carrying the gravitas of decades spent inside the squared circle. Pacquiao's endorsement of Tyson's superiority wasn't merely a passing comment. It was a testament to the respect and admiration shared among warriors of the ring. Tyson is a legend, a true titan of the sport, Pacquiao continued, his tone reflecting both reverence and certainty. His skill, his power, his ferocity, they're unmatched. Against someone like Jake Paul, who, while admirable in his own right, simply hasn't faced the caliber of opponents that Tyson has, the outcome seems clear. But Pacquiao's assessment wasn't solely focused on the technical aspects of the proposed matchup. As a statesman and philanthropist, he also recognized the broader implications of such an event. Boxing is more than just a sport. It's a platform for inspiration and empowerment, he remarked, his words imbued with a sense of purpose. 
While exhibitions and spectacles have their place, we must never lose sight of the values that define our beloved sport, integrity, respect, and the pursuit of excellence. In Pacquiao's eyes, the potential clash between Tyson and Paul wasn't merely a question of skill or spectacle, it was a reflection of the soul of boxing itself. And while he remained steadfast in his belief that Tyson would emerge victorious, he also called upon the boxing community to uphold the principles that have guided the sport for generations. Just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him box. Yeah. Kid can fight. And yeah. That Tommy Fury fight yeah. really showed that. Goes to a split decision against a legit undefeated boxer. The one thing he doesn't want to do is fight Mike. No. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? Mike. I don't give a fuck if he's 55. Yeah. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape, too. He trains with Rafael <laughs> Cordero. When you see him holding the mitts for Tyson and Tyson smashing the mitts, yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Joe Rogan, the renowned mixed martial arts commentator and podcast host known for his unfiltered opinions and deep insights into combat sports. Rogan's take on the situation was as controversial as it was unexpected, sparking debates and discussions across the sporting world. Joe Rogan raised eyebrows with his bold assertion that Jake Paul could beat Mike Tyson, proclaimed the Maverick commentator his words carrying the weight of his status as a trusted voice in the fight game. Rogan's perspective, rooted in his years of experience as both a martial artist and a keen observer of human performance, challenged conventional wisdom and turned the tables on the prevailing narrative. Look, say what you will about Jake Paul, but the kid can fight, Rogan asserted, his tone measured yet resolute. He's put in the work, he's shown improvement with each outing, and he's got that killer instinct that you can't teach. Rogan's praise for Paul's abilities wasn't merely lip service. It was a recognition of the dedication and discipline required to succeed in the unforgiving world of combat sports. But Rogan's endorsement of Paul's skills wasn't the most controversial aspect of his statement. It was his audacious suggestion that Paul could actually defeat Tyson, a notion that flew in the face of conventional wisdom and sent shockwaves through the boxing community. People underestimate Jake Paul at their own peril, Rogan cautioned, his words tinged with a hint of defiance. Tyson may be a legend, but he's not invincible. Anything can happen in the fight game, and Paul has the tools to pull off the upset. Mike Tyson is been re announced a return to boxing. I know in the past you said you didn't want him to fight again. You tried to talk him out of fighting again. Have you spoken to him about this one? He gets mad when I do this, but Mike 60, man. I, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Who gives a shit what I think? It's not my fight. Um, I, I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Um, I don't know. Let's Let's see what he can go in there and put together a training camp and come in and you know I, I don't like to see guys fighting it uh, be a 31 year age difference during that fight just you know you know you guys know what I think of that stuff that said it is on Netflix which is a new development right them getting into live sports obviously you have a TV deal coming up soon I think the Netflix should have gotten into live sports years ago I think I think they're they're uh, they're, they're late to the game but they are a force they're a force man and, and, and when you look at um the amount of homes that they're in worldwide. Um, you guys heard me talk about this show, Reacher. I post. Dana White, the outspoken president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, is no stranger to controversy or blunt opinions. When confronted with the notion of a potential bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, White didn't mince words. Instead, he delivered a scathing indictment of the proposed matchup, deeming it not only a sad spectacle, but also a dangerous proposition for the aging boxing icon. This fight is a very sad thing for the boxing world, White lamented, his tone tinged with frustration and concern. To see a legend like Mike Tyson, in his 60s, being dragged back into the ring for a payday, it's heartbreaking. White's sentiment echoed the concerns of many within the boxing community, 
who viewed the prospect of Tyson facing off against a much younger opponent as not only a mismatch, but also a potential recipe for disaster. We have to wash out an old Mike Tyson because he needs money? White questioned incredulously. That's not what boxing should be about. For White, the issue wasn't merely about the optics of the matchup or the potential financial windfall it might generate. It was about the health and well-being of a man who had already given so much to the sport of boxing. Tyson is a legend, a true icon of the sport, White emphasized, but subjecting him to the rigors of professional boxing at this stage in his life, it's dangerous, plain and simple. White's concern wasn't limited to Tyson's physical well-being, it also extended to the integrity of the sport itself. Boxing should be about competition, about the pursuit of greatness, he asserted. Dragging an aging warrior like Tyson back into the ring for a sideshow, it cheapens the sport, it diminishes his legacy, and it puts him at unnecessary risk. They're not real fighters, they're exciting fighters. So he would never take the fight with you? I don't want to fight them, man. Okay. It would be a big knockout, though. I don't know, but I fight, I fight real fighters. Oh. I fight fighters that hurt big, strong, scary men. Those are the fighters I fight. Despite the controversy and concern surrounding the potential matchup between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, the man himself remains a pillar of confidence and conviction. With the swagger and self-assurance that made him a legend in the ring, Tyson has made it clear that he's not one to back down from a challenge, no matter how unlikely or unconventional. Mike Tyson exudes confidence as he brushes off doubts about facing Jake Paul, declared the boxing icon, his trademark grin betraying a hint of mischief. For Tyson, the notion of stepping back into the ring against a younger opponent may have raised eyebrows among pundits and fans alike, but it didn't shake his belief in his own abilities. I'm still the baddest man on the planet, Tyson quipped, his words carrying the weight of decades spent inside the squared circle. Age ain't nothing but a number, and I've still got plenty of fight left in me. For Tyson, the prospect of facing off against Paul wasn't just about proving a point or cashing a paycheck. It was about reaffirming his place in the annals of boxing history. I've faced tougher opponents than Jake Paul in my sleep, Tyson boasted, his confidence bordering on defiance. He may talk a big game, but when it comes down to it, he's no match for the real deal. But Tyson's confidence wasn't merely bluster. It was rooted in a lifetime of triumphs and trials, of victories won and battles fought. I know what I'm capable of, Tyson declared, his voice tinged with determination. And when the bell rings, I'll show the world once again why they call me the champ. Jake Paul is going to fight Mike Tyson. And as one of the few people on earth who has stared down Mike Tyson and got him to apologize, let me give you some advice. True story. This is a number of years ago, and my friends and I are eating at Mikayo's on Central in Phoenix. And while we're eating, in comes this huge entourage, probably 15 people. And the last one to come in is Mike Tyson. And they all sit down right behind us and it's tight in this room and so our chairs are right up against each other and sitting right behind me was mike tyson halfway through the dinner he gets up to go to the bathroom or something and when he does his chair knocks into the back of my chair i turn around surprised i look up and there is mike tyson looking down at me and i'm just looking at him and he goes oh excuse me <laughs> and that is how I stared down Mike Tyson and got him to apologize. <laughs> if I could have beers with anybody on the planet, Mike Tyson would be at the top of the list. He is such an amazing person. I mean, to be this incredible boxer and then to go through all of the stuff he went through because of his own personal failings and then to rise above it and make a comeback. Yeah, if I ever got the chance to see Mike Tyson again in a heartbeat, I would love to. 
He's an amazing person. Oh, and my advice for Jake Paul, get the best medical insurance you can find because you're gonna need it.